morning, Year 4. This is your Wednesday English lesson. And we're going to carry on with our book today, The Wild Robot. I'm going to read you the next two chapters now, chapters 6 and 7. So enjoy the story and afterwards I've got an activity for you. Today, we're going to play sentence bingo. Chapter 6, The Climb. Crack, thunk, clang. Roz was having a little trouble climbing the cliffs. She had a new dent on her rear and a long scrape down her side and she was just about to get another ding when a crab scuttled out from under a piece of driftwood. The crab looked up and immediately showed off his giant claws. Everyone was afraid of his claws, but not the robot. She just looked down and introduced herself. Hello, crab, my name is Roz. After a brief standoff, the crab cautiously backed away. And that's when Roz noticed how easily he moved over the rocks. With his wide stance and his grippy feet, the crab could crawl up and down any rock face. So Roz decided to try out his climbing technique. She spread her arms wide and clamped each of her hands onto the cliffside. She jammed one foot into a crack and lifted her other foot onto a narrow ledge. And just like that, she was climbing. Roz moved awkwardly at first. A chunk of rock crumbled in her hand and she had trouble finding footholds. But as she climbed higher and higher, she started to get the hang of it. Seagulls squawked from their cliff nests and soared away when the robot came too close. But Roz paid them no mind. She was focused only on getting to the top. Up and up and up she went, methodically climbing past nests and ledges and tiny trees rooted in the cracks. And before long, our robot felt the soft soil of the island beneath her feet. Chapter 7. The Wilderness Animal sounds filled the forest. Chirps and wing beats and rustlings in the underbush. And then from the sea cliffs there came new sounds. Heavy, crunching footsteps. The forest animals fell silent and from their hiding places they watched as a sparkling monster stomped past. But the forest was not a comfortable place for Roz. Jagged rocks and fallen trees and tangled underbrush made it difficult for her to walk. She stumbled along struggling to keep her balance until her foot snagged and she toppled over like a piece of timber. It wasn't a bad fall, no dings, no dents, just dirt. But Roz was programmed to keep herself in good working order and once she was back on her feet, she immediately began cleaning herself off. Her hands darted around her body, quickly brushing and picking off every speck of dirt. Only when the robot was sparkling again did she continue through the forest. Roz stumbled on until she found a patch of ground that was flat and open and carpeted with pine needles. It seemed like a safe place and safety was all the robot really wanted. So she stood there, motionless, all perfect lines and angles set against the irregular shapes of the wilderness. I hope you enjoyed the next part of the story, Year 4. Now pause the video and have a go at writing for five minutes to answer this question. What would you do if you landed on a wild island? Bring your answers to Zoom and we'll talk about it. Okay, Year 4, so your challenge today is to have a go at sentence bingo. You'll see on the right a collection of words. They're all mixed up. They're not in sentences. Can you get full house on the sentence bingo challenge and complete all five tasks? Task number one. Can you write five different sentences? Remember, your sentences need capital letters and full stops. Try not to add any different words in, just the ones on the right hand side. OK, here are some examples of some sentences you can write with those words. So you can use any of the words in any order. Just remember to put your capital letter at the beginning and your full stop at the end. So I've had to go at three sentences. The ocean wind roared. Thunder roared through the night. Chaos raged on the waves. 
Can you think of any other sentences? See if you can do five different ones. Task two. Can you write a sentence that has repetition in it? That means with words repeated. How about this one? The rain raged down and down through the night. What other ones can you think of? Task three. Can you write a sentence including alliteration? This is my attempt. The wind and waves raged with chaos. What can you come up with? Task four. Can you write a non-fiction sentence? So not a story, a fact. I found this challenge really hard. See if you can do it. A ship in the ocean. That was my non-fiction sentence. Task five is the most challenging. Can you write a perfect sentence using all of these words? I wonder if you can recognise where these words come from. Bingo!